Congratulations on making it to the end of this course. In this final lecture, let's take a moment to recap the key learnings and concepts we have covered throughout our journey of creating a responsive image slider with Swiper.js. Over the course of this training, we have explored the powerful features and capabilities of Swiper.js, a modern and versatile JavaScript library for building touch-enabled and responsive sliders. We have learned how to harness the power of Swiper.js to create visually appealing and user-friendly image sliders that adopt seamlessly to different devices and screen sizes. Here are some of the key learnings and takeaways from this course. First one is introduction to Swiper. We started by understanding what Swiper.js is and why it's a popular choice for creating responsive and interactive sliders. We explored its key features and such as its modular structure, rich API, and support for various slide layouts and transition effects. We learned how to set up Swiper.js in our projects, including setting up and initializing the library with basic configurations. Creating a basic image slider, we dove into building a basic image slider using HTML, CSS, and Swiper.js. We learned how to structure the slider, add navigation arrows, and enable pagination bullets. One of the core features of this course was ensuring our image slider was responsive. We explored responsive design principles such as fluid layouts, media queries, and breakpoints. We also learned how to adjust Swiper.js options and optimize images for different screen sizes. We explored advanced features of Swiper.js including autoplay functionality, lazy loading for images, thumbnail navigation, and touch and mouse interactions. These features allowed us to create more engaging and user-friendly sliders. By completing this course, you now have the knowledge and skills to create responsive and visually stunning image sliders using Swiper.js. You can confidently integrate these sliders into your web projects, enhancing the user experience and adding a touch of interactivity and engagement. Remember, Swiper.js is a powerful and versatile library with many more features and capabilities than we could cover in this course. Don't hesitate to explore the official documentation and continue learning and experimenting with the Swiper.js to unlock its full potential. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts on the key learning from this course, feel free to leave a comment below. I am excited to see the amazing image sliders you will create using the skills you have acquired.